um, today's video I will be taking you guys to Munich in Germany and Munich is one of the cities the most uh, populated most expensive cities let me say one of the expensive cities in Germany all right and Munich also have a lot of international students from all over the world so if you have been looking for a place to study in Germany for free Munich should be a place you should consider but hey understand that the cost of living in Munich is might be different from Frankfurt Hamburg Berlin or Freiburg all right so that is what you should understand but before I move more detailly into the video please if you are new subscribe to the channel all right and turn on the notification bell so that when I post the next video you would be the first to watch all right thank you so much for understanding I will be looking down on my other device so if you see me looking down here do not get it wrong all right and again, as a disclaimer, I do not know anything uh, related to sponsorship of this university. All I am sharing in this video is according to my research and information to help international students study abroad. And if you watch me, go to the description box, click on the links and start applying as fast as the admissions open. The video proper. Now, I will be talking about DID, DIT, which is Degendorf Institute of Technology. This school is found in Munich and Munich is in Germany. All right. Now, you are going to be studying in this university for free, but likewise, other schools that I have mentioned on this channel, you can study for free, but you are not going to pay tuition fee. But there is a small contribution you are going to do, which is called the semester contribution. All right. And it's the same for Munich, though the figures differ for each university. Some universities you pay 350 euros, some you pay 300, some you pay 250. But for Degendorf Institute of Technology, you are going to be paying 62 euros every semester. All right. Is that not good news? No tuition fee. All you need is 62 euros when you move to Germany. But again, before I proceed, please remember that I have made two videos. One, explaining to you why the embassy is delaying with appointments. All right. Then the other one, I explained to you why you should understand that there are two lists to book appointments at the German embassy in maybe Cameroon or Nigeria, all right? For those of you in Ghana, I do not know if you have these embassies in your country, but you should, you should verify, all right? Now, the program at Degendorf Institute of Technology I will be talking about, it's called Bachelor's in Engineering, Energy Systems and Engineering, all right? Literally, it is Bachelor's of Energy Systems and Engineering. Okay, so that is what you should know and it is going to be taught at uh, Fakinchem campus, all right? There are two campuses for this school, one in Munich and the other one for Fakinchem. Now, I will talk about three things most importantly, which include the overview of the course, all right? Then we also have the course details. I will also talk about the course and funding and of course, I will talk about the requirements and registration. Now, beginning with the overview of the program. Remember, I said before that you are going to be obtaining bachelor's in engineering and this course is taught entirely in English language. There is no tuition fee payment, but there is a registration fee of 62 euros every semester. Okay, the course duration is seven semesters and of course the course starts only during the winter intake. Okay, there are two intakes in Germany. Hey, there are two intakes in Germany. Pardon me guys. First one is April intake, which is the summer semester, and the other one is winter intake, which is the October semester. But this particular course is only available for winter semester, and it starts on the 1st of October. Application deadline is 15 of April to 15 of July for October entries, all right, which is the winter semester that I already talked about. Now, is it a joint degree or a non-joint degree? It is not a joint degree, and it is not a double degree as well all right so these are some of the things you need to know and again you can read the content or the description of this uh, program now let me see what is all the details the details of the course that is the things the course is made up of or the organization of the course it shows that for the first semester you are going to be studying analytical principles of engineering you are going to study informatics one you are going to study fundamentals of electrical engineering you are going to study physics chemistry and foreign language which is of course i think is the german language for semester two you are going to be studying mathematics for engineering okay you are going to study informatics two you are also going to study electrical and power engineering of course with things related to materials designs all right semester three composed of advanced mathematics of course energy technology measurement and control engineering 
and Foreign Language 3 and Semester 4 include Design, Renewable Energy, Sustainability, all right, plan engineering. Sustainability is very, very important, guys. Make sure you read on sustainability to know. Up to you, you go to semester five, six, seven, and of course, you graduate. All right, that is how the course is distributed. And again, understand that you have to go for internships. All right, you have an internships, and of course, you will be taught in English language, though you need to take the German languages. All right. Then again, let's look at the cost and funding of this particular program at Degendorf Institute of Technology in Germany. Now, the funding is very, very important when it comes to studies abroad. I always tell students, make sure you plan yourself, know where you want to go, understand that the countries are not the same and you do not need the same amount. Countries like Germany and Norway, you need blocked accounts. Countries like Finland and Sweden, you need bank statements. Countries like Belgium and Austria, you also need bank statement, but the money is not the same, all right? So make sure you always plan yourself. Now, looking at the cost of funding, tuition fee per semester in euros is zero euros, all right? Semester contribution is 62 euros, student service fee per semester. That is 62 euros. Now, the cost of living in this area of Germany, which is, uh, like I said, is in Munich, is 700 euros per month all right if you want to look at it compared to some areas in frankfurt or hamburg it will be cheap or expensive because german cities as i know are the most expensive like frankfurt and munich all right so that is what you should know funding opportunities within the university are there funding opportunities yes there are funding opportunities which means that though you are studying for free you can apply for funding and if you get funding you will be receiving at least 300 euros i think 300 euros every month okay so that is how uh some most german schools they operate most of the countries in the eu that are highly industrialized that are very rich they will always give you scholarships in school all right so understand that now moving further to the requirements and registration which is the most important one there is something pay attention here for the academic admissions requirements remember this course or this program is a bachelor's degree program you are applying to okay now what is required higher education entrance qualification what is the higher education entrance qualification these are simply your high school certificates or documents that you got or diplomas or certificates that you got from high school like in cameroon we have what we call ordinary levels and advanced level in nigeria they call what they have what they call the wayek Ghanaian. for the language requirements um if you check here you are going to find a language says please find the language requirement for this degree course here and they, they added a link to you all right so make sure you click on all these links and check if maybe because they can put something on the department website whereas it is not put on the university site all right so make sure you always verify that the application deadline is the 15 to the 15 of july 15 of april to 15 of july for october entries now about the submission of application where do you apply it is said on the university side that submit applications directly to degendorf institute of technology via our application portal all required documents must be uploaded on the application portal and it is necessary to send hard copies by postal mail now remember they said you should apply directly to degendorf institute of technology's website but you could still apply from uni assist but because this university or this program does not partner with uni assist that is why you are going to apply at their website or directly with them and this time it is not going to cost you a to a, a, a registration fee or let me all of this being said um i will also suggest that if you want to apply for dogandov institute of technology in munich make sure you consider the language because there is something i realized a few months back that the, some most of the programs will interrelate all right that is to say you might be studying a program that has english and german as the language of instructions all right now what you need to do is consult the um, the body the exam body or let me say the coordinator of the program or the department all right inform them about the the, the, the situation you are facing via probably maybe email or you write someone but you are not writing them because their language of instruction is in german and english maybe you are writing them to confirm all right because it's already stated on the website so do not go to professors and start behaving very funny guys 
in the next video i will also talk about um, germany i just want to clear this episode for bachelor's programs then i will be talking about master's program in subsequent videos all right probably next week when uh, um, we might have succeeded in whatsoever thing we are pursuing so i will try to see that it goes smoothly and again um when you are applying for schools in munich in berlin make sure you look at the proficiency well because sometimes they will tell you that um, submit an english proficiency whereas another admissions officer is coming before you move there and when he comes he will tell you that no you must submit only it because these people are bent on it that is the truth most people that win scholarship sometimes will persevere and write those that don't win sometimes will not have perseverance to write all right to write um, and to win the scholarship so if you are looking for um let me say more programs or you want to explore more areas make sure you apply for more than two three or four schools even i have a lot of them on this channel where i talked about tuition free but remember there is one thing very very important when you want to apply for the visa you are going to apply via the office all right when you want to apply uh, for the visa you are going to apply via the office what i mean here is you are going to apply get information from the office up to the ones at the embassy before you move all right because it's very very important i hope you understand thank you so much for watching this video until we meet again in another one